What is up, everybody? J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan, home of MRB Classic Pro Shop. Make sure to head up here every night after 6 o'clock. Mason's up here just about every night during the week. Closed on the weekends, but that's okay. You can, I'm sure you could hit him up, get an appointment from him, whatever you need to do. If you want me to do some work for you, get an appointment with me. Soon I'm going to be building a website of my own so where you can get a hold of me uh, for lessons and all that stuff. So be on the lookout for that. But today we're taking out on a 42 foot league pattern. We're going to go look at the newest, uh, the other newest Roto Grip ball that's coming out, that Idle Synergy. Um, another shiny hybrid bowling ball. So, uh, and I believe that, that R, R1 or S, X1 or what, I don't know where the R comes from. I keep saying R. Oh, that X1 from Rotogrip. I believe that was a hybrid as well. Um, so, but this Idle Synergy is a hybrid, uh, kind of like the, the Idle Pro. I wonder what the difference is going to be. Maybe it's an Idle Pro, uh, all the same thing. I don't know. I don't remember what the core, was the core different in the Idle Pro compared to this? I'm not really sure. I'll go back and look and we'll kind of talk about it a little bit later. But we're going to take it out here, see what it's got out here on a typical league pattern here in a minute. Stay tuned. take a look at the synergy this idle synergy this ball literally hasn't gone on the lane yet because i warmed up with that x1 roto grip ball which if you saw that that looked really really good but we're going to take a look at the synergy we're going to do the same thing i'm going to try to go straighter being a shinier hybrid i expect it to kind of hook off of the dry to the right a little bit sharper but i guess we'll find out we'll start at that 8 9 10 range and see what we can come up with here Yeah, so it's definitely, you could see the quickness down lane. Much different than that, uh, the X1. And I hope I'm saying that right. I don't think I am. I think it's like an RST or something like that. RST X1, yeah. So, you wanna watch TV? Okay, hold on, buddy. I'll get you set up in a second. Let me get this one done. Okay, you'll watch, pals. Get out of the way, this way, this way, this way. People can't see with your big button away. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna try that. That fudge knuckler again, where I moved right with six, seven-ish. Try to really take some hand out of it. Let's see what we come up with. Oh, roll it, baby. Oh, let's go. All right, so the fudge knuckler worked with that ball because it comes off of the dry quite a bit stronger. So that was good. I've been getting requests of people, they wanna see the balls go straighter. So I'm going to try and take some hand out and let you see him going straighter up the lane. Got to please the people. <laughs> I'm going to try to go even further, right? This might hook immediately, but I'm going to try to take even less, even more hand out of it. Look at that. That ball floats right through there. It hooked immediately, but I took so much hand out of it that it just floated through and rolled through the pen. So that's a good sign for anybody that likes to play straighter. You like that shiny ball, but you don't want a pearl. Here you go. This is what you got. All right. So we're going to start moving left now. So far, it looks pretty good. Let's get to that 15, 16 area. 14, 15, whatever you want to call it. A little rollier hand position. Oh. This is going to be a sick combination between that RX, RST and this. It's both hybrids, I believe, but that solid, that, that duller cover on the other one compared to this shinier ball. Oh, I don't know, man. This is looking good right now. Maybe I'm going to have to talk to, I'm going to have to talk to Lee and tell him he's going to have to do a two ball package on these two. Do some kind of a special or something. Good grief. <laughs> Because if they're going to complement each other really well, might as well get them both. All right, we're going to move left. It'll be that three and one. Oh, missed left. Oh, boy. But see, this has got that typical storm rotor grip look to where it gets to the spot, 
And it almost looks like it speeds up, like it's speeding up going through the pens. It's not really, of course, but it looks like it is. So it wants some angle, so we're gonna have to go left. <sighs> See, we can't get in between third and fourth arrow. I'm gonna keep it rolly, because it looks like it still wants to kick down lane. Oh my goodness, this thing's strong down lane. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I gotta imagine this thing's gonna be ridiculous as I keep going left. You want some pop down lane. I wonder, remember when uh, Belmo was picking his cover stocks and all that for the trend, they had three different cover stocks um, to go with the core that they designed and he was choosing which cover stock to go with. I wonder if this is just one of the other cover stocks that he didn't choose. <sighs> Maybe this is the more flippy cover stock compared to the other ones? I don't know, because this thing looks strong down lane. Yeah, see, in that one, you can almost see it hook stop. It's back to where, uh, where I was with that RX-1. It was, my angle was too steep, and I'm sure I could make that angle work but I would just really have to slow down and get around it a little bit more. Now I can get my hand around it. I'm gonna shut my angle down, just a pinch, and see what it does. Man, it doesn't quite look like somebody kicks it when it gets down lane, but it definitely goes right you know, left to right, back left again, really strong. So I'm gonna, let me try that area again where it didn't hook before. And I'm gonna try and get my hand around it, see if it'll still hook to the right compared to what it did before. That time it came back. That time you get your hand around it enough, it'll come back. Thanks, buddy. Let's leave it in there for now. All right, that was pretty sweet. So you just see a minor change there. I just get my hand around it a little bit more and it stops that whole hook stop look and it continues off of it and goes through the pins. This ball returned slow today. All right. I'm gonna keep going left, see if we can't get to that fifth arrow. And then I'll tuck my pinky a few shots. Ooh, that's too rolly. Yeah, you can see that one hook stop. You can see I was too forward with it, so it made its corner, and then it kind of just went forward through the pins. I didn't quite get around that one enough. But I mean, it still obviously struck. It still looked really good. Now, the one difference is, is this one's not reading the middle of the lane as well as that R, uh, RST did. So that could cause you some problems. And that's what I'm talking about, where this one's probably gonna be a little bit better at one or the other. It's gonna be better playing straighter or better playing in, whereas the RST is gonna be a little bit more versatile playing all parts of the lane. And I still don't have a ball back. Oh, here it comes. I wonder what's going on back there. All right, I'm gonna continue to move left, and this one I'll make sure, I'm gonna tuck my pinky to make sure my hand gets around it. That's definitely around it. I think that one left a skid mark down lane, good grief. Like I would say, I would even go as far as saying this is even flippier than what that phase three was. Maybe that's what it is, maybe it's that cover. There's the same cover as a phase three and we don't know it. But it's definitely, that got that strength. <laughs> if you're a phase three lover, this might be that ball you love. You might want this one as your next one. All right, tuck pinky. I'm gonna try to get this one even further right and see what happens. Buddy, you're gonna have to, <laughs> almost done run my kid over. <laughs> Usually you don't do that. Normally he just sits out of the way. Watch out, kid.
Come this way. Come on. You're scaring me. I keep going up toward the line and you're getting closer. I don't want to kick you. Yeah, that's almost identical. I mean, maybe it's not as as flippy as what the phase three was for me because when I did that with the phase three, that thing trucked through the pins and struck. So this might be just a little bit smoother, but man, not much. So now let's go back in the middle of the lane and see if I'm right about this. Cause if I can't consistently make a good motion in the middle of the lane, then it's only gonna be good playing straighter and in for me. See, I just feel like that's gonna be a little bit of an overreaction being, you know, that straight. Unless I can take my hand out of it and go straight, then it's fine. And if I roll it a little bit too much, it's gonna be flat 10 city, I feel like. Oh, I see, it keeps getting caught back on the wheel there. I'll throw one more shot. Try to roll it from that spot. See, that's what I'm talking about. So then when I roll it a little bit, it doesn't quite want to make the corner. So I go four pin to swish to flat, you know, something like that. But now if I throw a shot back left, I can get the ball to go through the pins. Or if I go way right, I can get the ball to go through the pins. So our, our issue with some of these bowling balls like this is usually they're good for one or the other. You get something like that. The RST, you know, it's going to be really good playing uh, all parts of the lane. So you run into trouble with some of the, not trouble, but that's where setting up a good arsenal comes into play. You got to make sure you know you've got bowling balls that can be versatile. You know you got bowling balls that are good at one or the other and kind of some in between and all that good stuff. So... Got another ball stuck. I'm gonna have to throw a ball down the lane to get it. Let's see if that'll strike. Get in there. Come on. Oh, I got the 10 out. That's good. Almost 5 7 10. 5 7 10 is never a good sign. <laughs> that ball deflected, didn't quite get through the pocket right. <laughs> All right. One more shot, like I promised. Further left. <sighs> my hand around it a little bit and you'll watch this ball go through the pins nicely. Holy moly. Yeah, I mean, I was left off my hand, but all right, one more. If it doesn't get stuck, let's hope that ball doesn't get stuck in the wheel again. Eh, it looks like it's coming. All right, try that again, throw one good. There you go. So there's the idle synergy. Um, I said I wanted to talk about it a little bit because I think we have some uh, a little bit of misunderstanding sometimes between good balls, bad balls. Again, like I always say, no such thing as a bad bowling ball. We just have situational bowling balls. Uh, and these last two you've seen are exactly what I'm talking about. You have that uh, RST that was good all over the lane. I could get it to read the middle of the lane properly. And then you have something a little shinier. Uh, even though it's a hybrid, something shinier, just uh, like the uh, the Idol Synergy. And you've seen it be really good playing straight. It floated through there really well, popped through the pins. And then you've seen it really pretty good playing further in. Maybe a little hook stoppy at times. Um, but then it was really kind of mixed signals in the middle of the lane. Weren't really sure. Um, so maybe it'll be good when we see some breakdown as we start to see a little bit of carry down start to see a little bit of the fronts go. That's when we could go from the RST to the idle synergy and it'll be perfect. It'll be a good combination. So that's what I think we need to do. I think we need to get both of these balls, lay them out the same, 
uh, and then you'll have one in the, you have two hybrids that are gonna show you exactly what you need between the two. You're gonna have one that's real versatile, one that's gonna be you know, more of a transition ball. So make sure to head over to bowlerx.com, get yours. Uh, today, it's in the, the link's in the description. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. Uh, and until next time, I'm out of here. See you later.